Hi guys, welcome to Get Ready With Me, Louise. Oh, I forgot my rings, oh well. Um, so, like I said in my previous video, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the Pat McGrath Mothership One for today. And I'm wearing blue because this palette, actually I've never used it, and here it is. And I absolutely love that blue right there. That blue is my fave. And then this here is a pink, which really, right there, there's the regular color to it. It is beautiful. And then you got the white, but the blue is my favorite. So I think that's going to be my lid color for the day. I'm not really for sure on the rest of the look other than that. So, with that said, I still have so much to do, and I'm so far behind, so we got to get started. So, I'm going to go ahead and lay down a base shade. I'm going to use this color right here as my, just, you know, just sort of lay something down kind of thing. Or start a, my crease, I guess, in a sense. It isn't a very dark of a brown, but it is something. And I already primed my eyes with the ABH primer. And I lined it with a blue liner from ColourPop. I'm really gonna pop the blue today. And of course, as you can see, I'm wearing blue, so it kinda goes. And then on my lips, I have the new Pat McGrath, uh, the, um, it's the Blood 2 Mini Lust Gloss in the red version. I'm trying it today. I probably should have went with more of a nude look, being that blue is going to be on my eyes, but I haven't tried the glosses really. So I thought, why not? It's been a long morning. I'm still getting over the flu. I feel much, much better. And I, my skin looks much, much better too. My daughter finally went back to school. Now my son did not. My 10 year old didn't. Um, my other son kind of made him stay away from the house. He, he's been staying with his uh, dad or his dad's side since all this flu went down. But he just stopped by and because, you know, my son still has a cough. I'm just like, eh. I mean, I think you're safe, but, you know, do we really want to tempt it? Not really. Not if we don't have to. So, hopefully he can come home tomorrow because I don't like it when my kids aren't here. It makes me nervous because I'm their mom. That's what I do, I guess. I get nervous with them. All right. So now that I laid that down, oh, I was using the Scott Barnes 6-2. I think the next color I'm going to go in with. I'm going to go in with this color here. I'm not really for sure what color that is, to be honest with you. Maybe like a purple, gray purple. I don't know. I'm curious about it, though. It's calling my name. I will say that much. I'm going to take a, I don't know what I'm going to take. What kind of brush? Let's take this one. It's a Morphe M321. Yep. M321. And I'm going to go into this shade. I'm going to actually put that right in the crease. Let's see what we got. Mm, yeah, it looks like it's a purple grayish shade. It's very faint, very light. Very pretty though. Oh, I do like it. And again, it's like I've said before, we keep buying these palettes and we don't even use what we got. I'm so glad I've decided to go back and take a look at what I do have though. So I can see, is this something I'm gonna wear? Is there, you know, with Pat McGrath, like, I don't, I mean, some of her, one, one or two of her palettes are every day, for sure, no doubt, you know, but some of them, it's like, it, they're not, they're for specific things. This, I feel like it does have your, you know, neutral colors to create your crease and all that, but, I mean, 
I guess if you're looking for a smoky look, this could definitely be it, but I just feel like unless I'm going for that blue, I'm not going to pick up this palette. But don't get me wrong, I'm picking up this palette every time I need a blue. Okay. Um, I think for the inner corner, I don't know what these colors are. It's the bad part. Hmm. And like they don't look like they do on the website. I'm not even gonna lie. Um. I think I'm gonna go, cause that's just too light. I can't use that for the inner corner. There's no way. Hang on. I'm gonna go with, um, I'm gonna take the same brush just cause I have it, why not? I'm gonna go in with this, this one here. It's like a brown, darker brown. And I'm just gonna put that on my inner corner. And again, this is definitely going to be like for a smokier look as far as like what you're creating because these are dark shades. But you can see that they blend. I mean, there's no patchiness. They go on very nice. I mean, there's really no issue to the shadows at all. And honestly, there never is. I'm gonna be real with you. Like there, I have, yeah, no, I'm, I mean, it just is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and take the Tom Ford number 11 and I'm gonna take that blue and I'm Mm. Look at that blue. Oh my goodness, it's so pretty. So, so pretty. Like, technically, this is kind of out of my comfort zone, to be honest with you. Blue is just not something I really play with. But, when you have a blue like this, how could you not play with it, right? Like, I just don't see how you couldn't play with it, to be honest. Because it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's so, so pretty. And the fact that it matches my dress, well, that's just a plus for me on why I'm using it. And I feel like if I sprayed this brush, oh my goodness, it'd be so intense. I kind of want to know if I should do it or not. Should I spray it, guys? I don't know. What should I do? Look at that. Oh my god, look at that. Look at it. 
it is so pretty. I don't know, should I spray it or should I leave it as it is? Like, I don't want to go too crazy. What should I do? I don't know. Should I? I mean... Should I go ahead and with the brush? For the lower lash line, I think I'm gonna take that uh, purplish grayish color and go to the bottom lash line with it. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I've gotten over the cold, but I cannot for nothing get rid of this cough. They've given me steroids for it, cough medicine, but me and my son both, we just cannot seem to get over the cough. I don't know. I feel sorry for anybody that's had this flu. Like, it, it's rough. Is so rough. Okay, I've decided I'm gonna spray the brush. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do it. I gotta see the blue. I just got to in full force. I'm loving it. Loving it. All right, for inner corner, I am going to go in with this pink. Yeah, I'm not even going to have to wet that. Look at that bad boy. Holy smoke. Look at that. Tell me her colors. You can't find this. You... Nobody comes close to her colors. Come on. Nobody. Yeah, I know I'm using the wrong brush for my up here, but I don't care. I'm putting it. If I could put this everywhere, I would. Like, it is so pretty. It's, oh my lord. Can you see? Look at that inner corner. Oh, loving it. All right. Now, because I'm crazy, and I know this, and like I go obsessed with colors. I don't know why I just do, but I'm going to use the blue Bad Gal Bang for mascara. I already got the blue eyeliner. I just think that like this may be the perfect time to use this. And because it's me, I go all out in color. So if I wear it, if I go like a full blown color, then that's what I want to do. Full blown color. All right. Let's see if I remember, I think I did like this mascara to be honest with you.
I don't know. Can you all see the blue? Like, I can see it, but I don't know if you all can. Like, my lashes all blue. Man, when I go take this off tonight, it's going to be blue. I'm going to look like a Smurf, probably. And there you go. See, everything goes so smooth. And then I go and do something stupid like poke myself in the eye and then have mascara everywhere. Just the way it is. I already know. And there it is at the bottom lash line. I can't, I can't lose, well, you know, what is it? Can't win for losing. Can't win for losing. Man, that alarm is going off. I don't know if you all can hear that beep, beep, beep or not, but if you can, I'm so sorry. I mean, it's basically only supposed to go off if somebody, you know, gets so close to the house, which I know that my fiance is cleaning out his uh, buildings today for the next job. But, um, I thought he had set that off or turned it off so it wouldn't do that all the time since, you know, obviously we know we're out there. But at times it also will go off like if a car drives by or if it's windy because like something will move out there. Sometimes it can get very annoying. Other times it's great. It's a great system because it does let you know when somebody's approaching. And then they, we got cameras pointing, you know, to see who it is. All right, so you can really see the blue on my bottom lash line. I really hope this doesn't smudge through the day. I don't recall. I don't I don't recall wearing it on my bottom lash line. I do on the top and I think it was fine on the top, but I really I don't know. I forget. What was I doing? Oh yeah. I need to get that off my right here. Ooh. I don't want to put myself in the eye. Here. And what did I have? forget what I was even doing, to be honest with you. I think it was this one. Alright, after I do everything, I always have to go back and readjust everything, because I always mess it up without fail. Alright. Man, you can really see that blue on that bottom lash line, though. On my bottom lashes, I mean. Alright. this again without getting it everywhere maybe not poke myself in the eyeball I doubt that's possible with me though I so I mean I can do everything so perfect well not perfect but perfect for me you know because I'm not a makeup artist but you know perfect for me and then bam I have done something and I know you just got to leave it alone I know that but I'm the type of person that can't leave anything alone like, I know we're supposed to leave, you know, pimples alone and little red bombs and blackheads, but can I? Can you? Is also a question. Alright. 
I think I went a little crazy. I know that, but that's okay. I, I can accept it and live with it. But this is the final look. I think it turned out really good. I really like it. And again, this is the Mothership One by Pat McGrath. Um, I don't know what to do next. So we did a Mark Jacobs, a Natasha Denona, a Pat McGrath. Uh, I don't know. Should I go back up? Should I get someone else? I think I got like Bobby Brown, Huda Beauty, Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Like, let me know. I mean, because I don't want to do stuff that, you know, nobody's going to want to see. But at the same time, I think we need to revisit. Plus, I'd like to know what kind of looks. Like, if you have these products, what looks do you create? I want to see them, you know? Um, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the thumbs up for me. Um, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell. And then hit all. That way you're notified every time I upload. I am trying to upload at least three to maybe five times a week. I mean, I'm trying to get in here um, because I just, I got a lot to say from a consumer's point of view. And it, it's not the same as a makeup artist, I'm not going to lie. So, not to say that they're not telling the truth because I do believe they are. It's just a different perspective because I don't have the makeup ability they have. I don't have their skill set. And most people don't. But... If, you know, any suggestions or if there's, you know, like a certain way, like if you have, if I, obviously you've seen a couple of my palettes. So if there's certain shades that you think I should use, let me know um, and I'll try that out. Um, but leave me comments. I, I want to interact. I want to get to know other people that are in the same boat as me or maybe a little bit more elevated than me to help me along the way. Um, in, in exchange, I can help you by me being the stupid one to buy the palette so you don't have to. And that way you get to see if it's good or not good before you go and spend your money. Um, but let me know and, and I hope to see you in my next one. And I really appreciate everything, guys. Um, thank you. Bye.